what's going on I got a little different style video today vlog ish style and and really I'm just making this video because um, I'm in a cabin in the middle of nowhere isolated by myself for seven days and I decided to do this just completely off the cuff um, really for the first time I'm kind of enjoying the fruits of my labor and all the hard work I put into building you know 25k a month agency I really have never spent money um, but it feels really rewarding to be able to just book a random flight, get a car, and, and get this Airbnb for seven nights, and just come and, and, and be isolated. And I didn't really make this trip as a vacation. I more so came out here for a specific reason on, on where I want to go in my life. And, you know, you guys probably know Sam Ovens, right? I look up to him a lot. He talks about how Bill Gates goes once a year for one or two weeks to a cabin isolated by himself with some books to think and then formulate a plan for his next year um, and take action on it. And I think that's a position in my life uh, as to where I'm at is really seeing what's the type of life I want to live. I've been doing a lot of reflecting and I think it's because we get influenced through social media by so many different people on what we should be doing, right? Whether we should be trying to build a billion dollar company and just slave away um, or just be living la lavish lifestyle, just traveling, like not really caring too much. And I think with all these influences, I've, and I, I got this from another person I, I look up to, Jeremy Pogue, but I look at life through a lens of five pillars now. And this has helped me so much in figuring out this is the life I want to live in five years or two or three years, right? And that's kind of what I want to show you in this video. And real quick, just so you guys could check this out. Like, look at the cabin I'm staying at. I am literally hanging off the side of a mountain. You guys see everything right there. There's, like, deer walking by. Like, this is probably the most peaceful I've ever been. Um, and it's awesome. I love doing this type of stuff. But I've been looking at my life through these five pillars, right? And I'll break them down for you so you could do this for yourself. This will serve you more than any tactical video, by the way. Because if you are if you go and build a billion dollar business and you slave away 16 hours a day and you lack the four other pillars that I'm going to tell you about, you're going to be miserable, right? And so it's figuring out what you want and, and you have to break a lot of limiting beliefs for the stuff that I'm going to tell you. And you'll see the way that I look at it where you could do anything and that's what I figured out, you know, after putting in all this work is you could really do and, and create your life however you want. Um, and when you have that ability... Now the problem is what do I want, right? And so the five pillars I'm looking at is is one, fitness and health, right? Two would be money, right, and how wealthy you are. Three is, is relationships. Four is activities and exploring and doing things, right? And five I would put as God and faith. And looking at my five pillars, two years ago, before I had started my business, um fitness was my main one right when i was you know past high school i really got into the gym and i i loved it right and so my fitness was on point i was getting jacked you know uh, i was eating good and everything like that but pretty much all the other pillars kind of failed besides fun right so i had my fitness dialed in i had fun i would go out and do all this type of stuff but i was broke bad relationship with my family you know and women and bad relationship with god and I wasn't fulfilled, right? And so you guys are probably in a really similar situation to me where where you're starting off is, is money is the main lack, right? And that's dangerous. When money is, is the, the pillar that is lacking, money's the only thing that you could think about. And that one's huge for me, right? So what happened with me is I got into fitness, I was doing fun stuff, and then I knew that I needed to up money right because I was broke and that's when I started my business and then I spent those 12 months right just grinding I mean grinding I would not do anything else to the point where all four other pillars lacked I would work 12 14 hours a day only focused on money because it was such an important drive to me and I talk about this to people I'm a little bit closer with where you need an it, you need a bigger motivation behind money than just, I want to make money, right? You need that. If not, you're not going to go and try to make money and, and really grind away. And for me, growing up, 
it was the fact that every decision, you know, I, I didn't grow up poor by any means, um, but every decision we made as a family was influenced by money. And you guys might relate to this, right? Where it's like, where are you going to go eat? Well, how much does it cost here, right? Or like that type of thing. It, it, it didn't strike well with me because I feel like you're being controlled by money, right? And so when you have an abundance of money, you're able to make decisions based on what you actually want to do. And I thought that was huge for me. And so I put all my focus into the second pillar of money and my fitness lacked, right? It was hard to get my meals in and, and I wasn't really going hard in the gym. Relationships were non-existent, right? Women, I didn't even think about them, right? My family barely saw them, talked to them. I would have no fun, wouldn't go out, I wouldn't. And for me, fun now is, is doing this type of stuff, like coming out here, you know, going on, a, going on a run, going down to the stream, you know, mudding, ATVing, shooting, driving fast cars, smoking cigars. That's fun to me, right? I wasn't having any fun. And my relationship with God while I was focused on making money was kind of just put to the side, which obviously isn't, isn't ideal. And so as Hermosi says, you need, you do go through seasons in life. And I covered this in a previous video, but I thought that it was necessary that I went through that season of grind in order to get my financial situation better. And now I'm able to look at it from a perspective where let's optimize all five pillars, right? So depending where you're at, maybe you're crushing it in business, but you're fat, ugly, and stupid or something, you know? It's like you have to really address, or maybe you're, you're, you're crushing it in business, you're jacked, you have no relationship with God, right? You don't have any fun, you're just slaving away at business and, and going to the gym. You gotta really look at each situation. And so, step one, it's going to the gym to fill out that first pillar. It's going on a run, you know, going to f learn how to fight, like really being healthy in all aspects. Two, money is starting a business, right? Depending on where you wanna go. So for me, what I'm figuring out now is I don't need a billion dollars. I don't want a billion dollars. I don't want to work to that point to, to get there. I want to be making, you know, a hundred grand a month in profit, lean team, right? And not having to work as much. I used to brag, and, and this is funny because this is kind of what I teach you guys is like, you want a packed calendar because a packed calendar with meetings is money like that's that's where money is made but I'm in the point now where I don't want a packed calendar you know what I mean because I feel kind of chained down to it um, but if you're starting off like you need like if your calendar is empty you're not making money right um, third thing for me relationships that means like family right being able to see your family a lot go on trips with them and, and that's invaluable and then also with women right um, and that doesn't mean just like dating around and getting with a bunch of chicks, but it's really finding, I think, somebody loyal to you that could see the vision that you're going down and kind of be like that rock to kind of hold you down. Um, in terms of fun, you need to be having fun as well, right? You want that to be balanced, and that's what I'm doing now. And you guys are seeing me as I'm doing this, right? Like now I'm starting to have fun. Now you'll, you'll be with me along the journey as I go on other trips and I go to Mykonos, right? Or I go to Spain or something like that. And that's me just enjoying the hard work I put in to balance out all the pillars of my life. And then last is obviously faith in God. I believe that if you have all four other pillars maxed out, you're jacked, you're healthy, you're making a ton of money, you have a wifey, and you're having a ton of fun, but you don't have God involved, I truly believe you'll still have something missing. You'll have, you'll feel a pit of emptiness. So many successful people become depressed, right? People in all situations can become depressed. And I think that they have a pit of not having that faith in God to lean on, which is why you, you would be stuck in that situation. So that's really why I'm making this video is just to kind of fill you guys in on, you know, where I'm at. I'm here by myself. I'm, I'm, first of all, building the life and building the plan for my life that I want to live. And I'm also building my new business here, just completely isolated, just working um, really hard as well. And reflect on your pillars and see, see what's lacking in your life, right? And know what season you're in. 
And what I mean by that, the way you figure that out is look at which of your pillars are at 0%, right? If it's money, you're going to have to grind and make other sacrifices. If you have everything else maxed out and you have no faith in God, you're going to have to start praying. You're going to have to get in church, you know? Um, and that's how you can determine what you need to do now to stabilize everything and then build a plan to elevate all of those pillars over the next two, three, five years. So everything is possible. You just got to figure out what you want and get to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to get back to work. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys like this style of video and, and, and hit the like button, drop me a comment, hit that subscribe if you want to be on the same journey as me. Watch me, you know, build up my pillars in life and, and have a lot of fun, have a lot of faith in God, get absolutely jacked and make a lot of money.